All right, so this video is for all the noobs out there leaving their Bitcoin and Ethereum on exchanges. You should never do that. You should move it off the exchange and store it in a hardware wallet instead. The reason for this is that an exchange can get hacked, they can shut down, or your account could get compromised. Somebody could steal your phone, get past your two-factor authentication, drain your account, or Coinbase Pro could just decide to shut down your account because you logged in to check your balance on your vacation in Cuba, where government regulations don't allow crypto and Coinbase Pro just bends over to the government. So. If you want the most secure way of storing your crypto, you need to get a hardware wallet. Now there are software wallets, but those expose your private keys on your computer. So if your computer gets compromised, then you'll lose everything. With a hardware wallet, even if your computer gets hacked, your private key will never get exposed. And that's the difference between a hardware wallet and say a USB drive, where if you leave your private key on a USB drive, if your computer gets hacked, you'll lose everything. Now you might be wondering, okay, what if somebody steals my hardware wallet? Do I lose everything? Well, first of all, for the thief to get access to your funds, they would have to pass two layers of security. One, they would have to know your pin code, and two, they would have to know the passphrase where your wallet is stolen. On a hardware wallet, you can store a potentially unlimited number of wallets, each mapped to a unique passphrase. And there's no way for an attacker to know how many wallets actually have funds on it on this device. So if a police officer saw your wallet and demanded that you show them what your balance was, then you could have decoy wallets set up just that just have a small amount of money and show them that they would never know if you had more on that wallet. Okay. Say you lose this thing. How do you access your funds again? Well, when you create your wallet, it's going to give you a set of recovery words, and it's absolutely essential that you have a good strategy around accessing these words if you lose your wallet. I had a friend of mine who he was road tripping. He had his wallet on him, and he had his secret words written in some box also in his car. One day he went to his car. It had been broken into. The wallet was gone that box was gone. He was actually still able to recover his account because he had his secret word stored somewhere else, but the account was completely drained because the thief had actually recognized what this was, uh, what the words were, and had managed to access the wallet. So make sure you have a smart strategy around your recovery words and that they're geographically separated. Now, if you absolutely must input your words on a computer, which isn't recommended, at the very least, of course, make sure your computer isn't compromised. At the very least, make sure you encrypt those words. And I would encrypt them across multiple files too, so that if any single file gets decrypted, all your words aren't exposed. And the first thing you should do when you get a hardware wallet is after you're setting up your wallet, maybe putting in a small amount of money, reset the wallet and try to recover it. You need to know that you've written your words down correctly and you can recover your wallet if you need to. So with hardware wallets, there are two major brands. There's Trezor and Nano. Personally, I went with the Trezor just because it's open source. It's been around longer, felt a little bit more secure to me, but really you can't go wrong with either. Just get a hardware wallet. Don't leave it on the exchange and make sure you have a smart strategy around storing your security words. Yeah. All right. That's it. Also buy because Bitcoin is going to at least hundred K I think this year Ethereum is going to pop. I'm personally invested a lot in altcoins too. Now I of course invest responsibly all that I'm all in. So I'm not really following that, but just do what you're comfortable with. All right. Peace.